Today's video we're bringing a bit of sad news for fellow Jaguar enthusiasts out there that the design director Ian Collum is stepping down and retiring as director of design at Jaguar. So Ian made his uh, retirement public via Twitter back on June 4th and for those of you who don't know he's been with Jaguar for the past 20 years and he's had uh, quite a successful career in the automotive industry as a designer. His career started out with Ford back in 1979. From there he went to work with TWR in 1991 where he was responsible for some of the Ashton Martin designs of that era. And then in 1999 he joined Jaguar, which at that time was part of Ford's portfolio of brands before it was sold off to Tata Motors. Ian is quoted as saying, I came into this role with a mission to take Jaguar design back to where it deserved to be. It has taken 20 years, but I believe I have achieved what I set out to do. And in my personal opinion, I completely agree with him. I think he has done wonderful things for Jaguar. It certainly has taken some time for him to develop these designs and these vehicles and work with Jaguar to uh, kind of push the brand to where it should be. I think the more recent sale, which happened roughly halfway through his time there with Jaguar, uh, the more recent sale of Jaguar Land Rover from Ford to Tata Motors has really helped uh, Jaguar had more funding and more resources and freedom to push the envelope with new vehicles, new engines, and new designs. And I think that has really helped Ian develop some beautiful, beautiful vehicles. Uh, one of my favorite vehicles of all time is the Jaguar F-Type, which obviously was uh, developed under his kind of watch. And they have really made some great steps forward in pushing the brand. Well, Ian has a lot to be proud of. He says there is one disappointment, and that's that the Jaguar CX-75 uh, prototype car, prototype hypercar, never made it to production. And frankly, I couldn't agree more. It is a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. It was really needed. Originally debuted with uh, four electric motors and a turbine engine that would charge the batteries for those motors. It was later refined to have two electric motors and a turbocharged and supercharged four-cylinder engine that produced over 500 horsepower, which at its time was actually like really impressive. This was you know long before Volvo did it, and it was just it was a really neat, really beautiful prototype. So it's it's a shame that that never made production. Um, that certainly would have been amazing to see. But regardless, Ian, you have had an amazing career. You've done great things for the brand, and I think as a Jaguar enthusiast, I can speak for a lot of us and saying we really appreciate the work you've done. Uh, and it's just, it's been great to see the transformation of the brand over the years. And while it is a little scary and worrisome to see what may come next for Jaguar, it is good to see that someone within the brand is stepping up to fill your shoes. That being Julian Thompson, who has worked under Ian for some years at Jaguar. And I hope that he can uh, kind of take the reins and we can continue to see amazing things from Jaguar over the next several years. So a short and sweet video today, guys. Just want to update you on that news in the automotive industry, specifically with Jaguar. Uh, it will be interesting to see how designs change and progress over the next few years. Obviously, there's going to be a bit of a leg here as designs are in process for a very long time before they reach the market. So maybe you know three, four years from now, we may start to see some of the work of Julian Thompson. But for now, uh, should be kind of status quo at Jaguar through this period of transition. And regardless, I think we can all appreciate the work that Ian did and some of the vehicles he introduced. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and get subscribed. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, uh, we produce videos every week that are very similar to this covering automotive industry news. But with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.